Hello and welcome. Uh, we are at location, but we are making do with what we have. Uh, I am at my parents and I went to the thrift shop. Sadly, no dolls. If all you care about is dolls, maybe this video is not for you, but uh, fabrics for dolls <laughs> is what I found. And a few other things. So let's let's start. Let me show you what I found. So these things i don't know what they're supposed to be but i think i can yeah there you go they're little frames i don't know what they are for honestly but you can see it's a little frame and uh, i am planning on painting little pictures for my doll and uh, displaying them in here it's Two of them, I don't know, is it plastic or something else? Maybe it's plastic and it even has little holes to, you know, put them on a wall. But they were like 50 cents each and they're great size for the dolls. Uh, what else do we have here? Fabric. Oops, <laughs> that's like pretty long uh, and thin piece of fabric. I'm guessing it was a curtain at some point, but it's very nice and shiny. I really like this part and these ones and uh, it will make for great uh, underskirts for the dolls. And it's not much for like human stuff so it's this this much this much this much I don't know how long that is but uh, for dolly stuff that's pretty long and they can't wait to make something out of it and from the other things as well it's it's pretty nice and pretty light they uh, the fabrics they're fabric scraps and uh, they're $2.50 per kilogram, which like for three dollars I got all of the fabrics that I got and you see it's a lot of fabric. Um, then this, it's a peachy pink, it's like a sheet material, but uh, is the edge of the material and it has like clean edge that I can use and again for dolly purposes like for human purposes maybe you can make pillowcases out of this it's this uh, long I don't know how to how to fit it in frame there we go this long not very but this wide I'm sorry but very long uh, this is double maybe you can make like two pillowcases if you are making, uh, you know, human size stuff, but uh, for doll dresses and uh, can shirts and stuff like that, it's gonna be a lot of fabric and I can make a lot of great stuff out of it. And it's a very nice uh, color, very neutral and light and uh, pastel -y. Um A lot of ideas with it. Then. Uh, this is some sort of very stretchy fabric, unlike the previous one. It's again like a piece. Again, these are fabric scraps, so they are like long pieces of fabric. Let me show you. It has lots of um, <laughs> different colors, you know. Which is very nice because uh, if I make like little shirts, let's say, from it for the dolls, each shirt is going to be different from the other one because of the just the type of fabric, which I think is pretty cool and it's super stretchy. Uh, leggings is one thing I'm gonna make out of it, but yeah, we'll see what else. It gives me a lot of ideas, very nice 
score, very stretchy fabric. We'll see what I'll make out of it. Then we have <laughs> treasures in, in fabric. I bought some little dishes. Uh, they are tea, tea, tea dishes. I don't know how you call these in English. Uh, but uh, I just like the, the little print and we eat brownie out of uh, such ones and uh, yeah this is uh, made in Poland cool see <laughs> they were made in Poland that's pretty cute again they're really small but uh, I make brownies a lot and uh, it's perfect for a piece of brownie with like uh, your breakfast or your afternoon coffee pretty nice and then this very soft and thin fabric again like a big scrap piece well small scrap piece but big for for dolly stuff it's gray and you know it's very nice i can see some can shirts happening out of it uh then we have another piece and another piece. Those two are red pieces. We have another one. They were four little dishes like that. And yeah, this fabric is like handkerchiefy type of fabric, like tablecloth. But again, I can see some dolly clothing coming out of it because it's pretty thin and uh, will make for great doll fabric then the next one is the same piece you know the same fabric just there were two pieces so I got both and another one of these cuties again not the biggest but great for dolly stuff and I have like even you see finished edge which I can use I can make a skirt out of it and it will have a finished edge which is great because when I make skirts I hate making the, the edge of the skirt because I sew by hand and uh, yeah it's tedious and annoying what else do we have in here yeah uh, the last little dish we have four. If they had more, I would have taken them. They were 25 cents a piece. So, yeah, very nice uh, little dishes. They aren't perfect. They have a little bit of scratching here, you can see, but they're pretty nice. I think it's from them being, whoops, <laughs> being stored like that and, you know, doing that kind of stuff. But they're super cute. I love green and leaves and, yeah. I love these little things and oh, the last thing is actually my doll who was at the bottom. I took her out for some pictures and then we went uh, to, the, to the thrift store. There we go. Let's finish this section of the video with the doll in it. After all, you can see these are great size. Maybe I can make a little portrait. I can even put a picture, but I think a painting will be great for this. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, I wanted to add to this video. So, you have already seen these two girls. And you have seen this one. Well, you have seen them if you have watched my videos. They are on my channel. And then... Today, using the fabrics that I showed you in the beginning of this video, uh, my mom and I uh, handmade but uh, machine stitched, she machine stitched them. Uh, these outfits, they're like pyjama outfits, I guess, for these two millies. These dolls are going to be for my nieces. I do have one video of them from before that. But uh, I set out to dress them up. Also, we finished the fourth Stephilov. Now each kit has two Stephilov dolls. 
to play with and one mini and also we made this cute outfit for this guy it's really cute I am not used to making uh, stuff on you know uh, for machine sewing uh, but you know with my pattern making skills and my mom's sewing skills we created this and also one extra pair of pants like this uh, I do have two Anna's here in the back and I plan on giving the Anna's different pants but uh, I plan on finding a second can like that so you know each kit uh, has their own can with a similar outfit and we do have like other dolls here to dress up but they aren't ready I will dress those up uh, when next time I'm back in my parents house so basically we have dressed these dolls so far when I'm planning different pants for the two Amos that I have and I will be looking for another can you know second one and I keep adding to these dolls because uh, I buy a lot of dolls second hand especially I've been very lucky with the flea market and uh, by the way heads up I went today at the flea market and we found a lot of stuff so eventually <laughs> I will be washing those and uh, showing them to you here on the channel but yeah back to my uh, regularly scheduled outro if this is the end of the video I would like to say thank you so much for joining me for this little video and uh, don't forget to subscribe and thank you if you have already subscribed and thank you for watching my little video uh, tell me which fabric you're excited to see uh, turn into something or if you like have ideas for the fabrics that I showed you for stuff that I can maybe make I don't promise but uh, give me inspiration and yeah I'll see you in the comments and within a day or two for another video and for a short I did uh, make some shorts with her so uh, maybe they're already on the channel maybe they're coming on the channel you can check that out and yeah thanks for joining me bye for now